I'm delighted to be joined here for an exclusive interview from Milan by the chief executive of Salvatore Ferragamo. She is Michela de Develec Lemi. Welcome uh, to Bloomberg. Uh, Michela de Develec Lemi, give me a little bit of a sense about how much you worry about these trade concerns. Is it hurting demand for luxury products? Do you need to look at your supply chain on how you, you know, move things around in and out of countries? Uh, thank you, Francine, for your question, and uh, thank you for for giving me the opportunity of touching uh, uh, this point. Uh well, this is uh, a pretty much peculiar moment uh, for the industry in general and for the luxury industry in particular, as much as uh, uh, there is uh, this uh, uh, situation of uh, um, heavy tension between the different markets. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, we are, uh, as, a, as a brand, uh, uh, lucky enough, uh, considering that 100% uh, of our supply chain uh, is based in Italy, for the time being we have not been uh, affected uh, by uh, the trade war, at uh, the opposite, uh, we see that uh, there is an interest uh, uh, from uh, uh, the Chinese consumer uh, more and more into the uh, brands uh, that are developing and delivering a certain level of a uh, certain quality of products as much as a certain, uh, um, a certain list of values. Uh, uh, and so in that respect, uh, we uh, are assisting uh, to uh, uh, to uh, a, a reinforce attention from the Chinese consumer even in China, when in the past uh, uh, all the luxury industry has been uh, benefiting also from Chinese traveling abroad, uh, in this moment uh, uh, there is uh, an impact uh, which is coming from the repatriation of the purchases uh, of some of the Chinese consumer, as much as from uh, uh, a particular attention which has to be connected to a certain uh, type of values uh, that the brands are delivering. So give me a sense of whether you're opening more stores in China. So if the Chinese consumer is, is staying strong and continues to buy your products, how will they shop differently? And again, if there's you know, these trade concerns, will they shop more locally? Are you opening more physical stores or is it through you know, Alibaba and, and things like that? Is it through internet sales that you will continue selling to the Chinese in China? Yeah, so the Chinese consumer are more active, I would say, uh, for what we can observe uh, from our network as much as from the research of the of, uh, which are uh, uh, dispatched on the sector, they are um, have very active uh, in terms of uh, purchases uh, and it is true that the way they usually tr tend to approach the brand are through internet. Uh, there is uh, and still remain a level of sensitivity to the price point uh, and to the comparison of uh, the different price point in the different markets market of the world, uh, but it is true that considering some of the restrictions which have been introduced by the Chinese government uh, in respect to the uh, repatriation of luxury products into China, in some respect uh, this level of, of sensitivity to the price point uh, uh, is getting uh, uh, a lower uh, sense of uh, importance for the Chinese consumer. Uh, what is, uh, in, uh, in that respect, uh, uh, more important for them uh, is uh, to try to uh, identify some of the values of the brands uh, and so to uh, reconnect to the brands through the values that the brands are uh, proposing. So in terms of uh, way, uh, experience of the Chinese consumer, there is uh, also so uh, I would say a sense of uh, uh, maturity that uh, the Chinese consumer mm -hmm. are getting, uh, which is making them uh, uh, much more cautious uh, about uh, what they need and what they want, uh, and uh, in, a, in a certain respect, uh, a bit less dependent uh, on uh, the logo-driven item, uh, even if uh, still uh, the, the majority of the uh, Chinese consumer that are approaching the luxury industry uh, mm -hmm. start uh, with the sense of uh, entering into the luxury reward uh, with uh, a sense and the need of a recognition uh, which is in any case in any case making reference to a status symbol and uh, the brand and the logo as uh, yeah. a, an element that uh, is allowing an identification with the brand with the brand is, is it tough is it tough to compete with the big French groups you're listed it's a big group but you've had you know a change of management in recent years but do you ever feel like you're a takeover target or it would be simpler being a much bigger group 
It's, uh, I would say that there are some aspects of being part of a, of a big group uh, that uh, in, uh, in any respect uh, are making a bit easier in, from case to case uh, some of the negotiation. I'm thinking about uh, the negotiation for the, uh, the, the, um, the advertising spaces uh, as much as uh, the negotiation with the department store, as much as uh, uh, there is a leverage of uh, uh, many different brands that can be played on. Uh, of course, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is something that is in a way facilitating the big groups. Uh, uh, but I would say that uh, uh, Salvatore Ferragamo in the course of the year has been very strong uh, in creating strong partnership and relationship uh, with local partners, uh, which is uh, 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 something that uh, is uh, recognized to the brand and is making uh, the brand uh, very um, uh, linked uh, and connected uh, with the local community in a way. And this, uh, in a way, is, uh, uh, is uh, a leverage power that uh, we have uh, when we have uh, to discuss and to make uh, negotiations. I would rather believe uh, that for brands yeah. that are making a, a special point of view and are creating a special connection with, uh, with the customer and are delivering special values, uh, there will al always be uh, a space. Uh, so uh, this industry is now mm -hmm. pretty much uh, crowded in a way and the consumer are, are a little bit bombarded by many different brands. Uh, but there is Thank more you. and more, particularly in the new generation, the need of uh, uh, connecting with the brand's value.